Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm joined by one of my best buddies in the world, Mr. Daryl Brown, who just got some Tacova's Dean boots and we're going to get into it. You ready for this, Daryl? I am pumped. I am pumped. You have no idea. Awesome. <laughs> Let's get into it. Old boots got soul and I carry on this way and we get better. Congratulations to Daryl Brown. Just got married in these Tacova's Dean zip boots. Daryl, how do you feel after just getting married? Where do you want me to begin? Right? Like the excitement level, one to ten, I'm still on a hundred, man. I'm on a high like no other. That's what I'm talking about. Life over the last month, unbelievable, dude. You know, and we got to do it in a very, very comfortable boot. My first venture into a fashion boot outside of just dealing with winter. Like, they look great with your suit too. I've known Daryl for what, like 10, 12 years no, or more? We're pushing 14. 14 years? 2006. <laughs> we're pushing 14. <laughs> Jeez, we're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> I met Daryl on the dorm floor during my first year at the Rochester Institute of Technology. Uh, he was in the lounge playing saxophone. I brought my guitar in and bam. Right off the bat, we just started jamming out, and it's been history since. We started a band called Jack Swift Band. We won Tiger Idol at least once. Is it two years straight? We might have won two years straight. I think straight. it was two years in a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were repeat champs with Tiger Idol. Like, <laughs> we still never got that record contract. Not yet. <laughs> but hey, we were on right, tour. Man. We did two albums, which you can see on Spotify, or wherever you listen to music. Links in the description. Let's get into the reason why you're actually here and talk about these Tacova's Deans. That's right, it's time for the rundown. These Tacova Deans zip boots are calfskin and they are the bourbon color. If you liked this and were interested in getting this, Daryl, why did you choose the bourbon color? I've always looked at browns and shades of brown and just look good on me, right? Mm -hmm. I've always liked it. And so when, when we started having the conversation um, and knowing what I was going to be wearing at the wedding, the bourbon color just made 100% sense, right? And it goes with so many different kinds of styles and pants and whatever you want to wear. Yeah. I mean, I, I, they look good on the jeans, you know, before we started rolling. Um, at the wedding, you know, the tux, they look great. And it's, it's, it's spread out, you know. Yesterday, uh, I had some fun and, and sweatpants with them on. Right, like you know, yeah. we we can we can run the gamut. It is a great color, and it's about eight inches tall, so it's a little bit shorter of a western boot, uh, but it goes with a lot of things for that reason as well. And it also has a more narrow shaft and top here, which is also the reason why it has the zip, so that you can wear it with, you know, your slimmer fit jeans, your dress pants. It's funny, when I was getting fitted for my tugs, I, I mentioned like I'm wearing I'm wearing a boot, I'm wearing an ankle boot, right? a cowboy boot, and he's like, it's fine, you know, and I mentioned this is Tacovas, right, and his confidence wasn't just in the tux and the pants fitting, but it was in the boot as well, I could see it in his face, you know, and so um, just understanding that like it goes with a lot of different styles, mm -hmm. it's not just me to understand it being a first time wear, it's across the board, right, and so uh, the boot itself, the Tacovas name, it, it brings uh, history and longevity with it, it just makes so much sense, it just felt so good. Totally. We also have a medium round toe on this. On the Tacova's website, it says that it's a round toe, but I would call this more of a medium round. Uh, if you want to see a comparison, here is the Nakona's real round toe. This would be a U toe, which is kind of what you mean when you say round. I would have to say that this is more of a R toe, medium round, which gives it a little bit more of a point, but it's still a great look. This also has a leather outsole which used to be stamped with the Tacovas logo here, but you did a lot of dancing that night, yeah. and I don't blame you. Yeah. For my wedding, I just wanted to like be the center of attention. I just took that a little bit too far. I don't think you can take it too far on your wedding. You can do whatever you want. I danced, I danced, and I danced hard that night, you know? It was something I was halfway concerned about, like, will I be comfortable all night? Because I knew what I was going to be doing. After I walked down the aisle, I danced. We knew what was coming that night. Yep. Um, but man, I, I jumped, job and wailed all night long, you know, and these boots took care of me, like, without questions. Also on this leather outsole, you got lemonwood pegs and a few brass nails, but it's mainly lemonwood pegs, and that's good to see 
in a traditionally made cowboy boot or a western boot because lemon wood expands in a similar way that leather does when wet. So it helps keep everything together here. You also got a shank in the middle of this boot for support. You also got back here a inch and a quarter leather stacked heel, which is also a very traditional look. And the lower heel looks great too. It's probably really comfortable to wear it for is. such a long time. It is. I see my wife wearing heels and she gets tired after a while, right? So I'm like, is that gonna be me? Like I said, it's my first French I really didn't know, but it worked out just fine, mm -hmm. right? You know, I for one day I was taller than my wife, number one. <laughs> like, number two, I was comfortable, you know? It's like you, you put on these boots and you stand up and you, you just feel a sense of manliness, right? A sense of just like, mm, I'm here, you know? Um, and it's, it's comfortable, it's relaxing, it's fitting, and it just works, mm -hmm. you know? It's not too pronounced, it's not too much, it's just enough and done so tastefully. Right, and to be able to fit so comfortably, it's like it's like I'm telling a, a fairy tale here. You know? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's that's the reality that we're in. You know? So, <laughs> Tobis is gonna Gobis. love you. Thanks to go. <laughs> <laughs> then for a zipper, we got a YKK metal zipper, which is used on a lot of Western boots, uh, mainly because it's so durable and reliable. I mean, the metal zipper uh, will last you a really long time, and on the inside, that zipper is backed with a, a nice little leather flap so that zipper that metal doesn't rub up against your leg and a nice leather lining too like it's super soft in here and one thing that a lot of newer companies that are getting into cowboy boots are doing regularly including Tacovas, is they're lining their boots to cover the seam where they would sew the boot together on the inside on a lot of older brands they don't cover that seam with the leather lining they're still leather lined but the seam has been known to cause some blisters and some discomfort on the ankles of some people who wear those styles. But you're not gonna have that problem with this boot because the leather lining covers that seam through and through. And the leather lining also goes through to the foot as well. And you also have a soft leather insole that is non-removable. So you do have some foam underneath there, uh, but it's topped with leather, so it will form to your foot somewhat, but also be really comfortable. You get to a point sometimes with shoes in general when your feet sweat, mm -hmm. and they sweat hard, and it smells, and it's rough. I took these off, that wasn't an issue, Yep. right? Like that That's key, you know, mm -hmm. because it was comfortable, it was soft, it worked literally inside and out. <laughs> like, <Yep. you> know, <laughs> that's that's a huge value to leather-lined <laughs> footwear is that they're not going to smell as much when you wear them and you sweat in them a lot. A cloth lined, um, things like that are going to hold in that bacteria a little bit more and they're going to stink a little bit more. I'm not going to say that your cowboy boot isn't going to stink eventually, but it's going to take a lot more for it to actually stick. So leather line, not only is it comfortable, but it's got like these anti bacterial microbial features to it that's just natural and uh, it, it's a great thing to wear if you tend to have stinky feet like a lot of us men do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These boots are also made in Leon, Mexico. Leon is like the cowboy boot capital these days. Are you ready to try these boots on and sort of give us your impression and to show everybody how they look and feel. I, I'm mad it took us this long to get here. Right? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> really, really simply, it feels great, right? I, I, I can move left to right, it's nonstop, right? It's a comfortable, comfortable feel. The eight inches is just right, right? The inch and a quarter heel, it looks beautiful, it feels absolutely great, can't get enough of it. So um, I'm loving it, I've been loving it as like, I am a, I don't know, um, fast food commercial, right? I'm loving it, I'm here, right? But it's for Tacovas now, right? So it looks great, it feels amazing. Let me give you guys a quick shot, right? From top down. Look at this, look at the heel. It isn't too much, it's just enough, right? It's a medium round toe. Feels absolutely amazing and it fits my look. It works for me on so many levels. So I can't talk about it enough. I can't be more grateful to Jeremiah for being a great, great friend, but Tacovas really, really taking care of me, really giving me a great boot. They're resolable too, so when these boots end up getting a hole in this leather sole, which will eventually happen, especially if you keep dancing yeah. in them so much, <laughs> you can get them resold and they'll last you so many more years after that. I got a pair of 
Goodyear Welt cowboy boots that I've resold six times. I've been on tour with them um, that I spent pretty much the same amount, you know, $250, $255. 14 years later, I gotta say that's an awesome return on investment. Yeah. So when you buy a boot like this, you're buying it for at least a decade, hopefully. If you guys are interested in getting this Tacova's Dean, like Daryl said, it's kind of like an introduction into the Western boot world. It's not all cowboy boot that can fit with a whole bunch of different kinds of pants. So you may be interested in sort of dipping your toes into this world, and it's an awesome world. Um, and Daryl, while I have you here, a lot of folks who come through, they're not sure if they can pull off the Western boot style, and a lot of people of, of color in particular, what would you have to say to folks about sort of entering this world of Western wear? Give it a shot, right? Um, and it, you know, I'm a sales guy, right? So a lot of times I say the worst answer I can hear is no. Mm -hmm. That includes fashion too, right? If I put it on my foot and I don't like it, that's fine, right? But take the chance, right? I'm a black dude from Cleveland. They're Cleveland, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's a lot of Ohio where cowboy boots make sense, right? But not Cleveland, right? So um, it's brand new to me, right? I didn't know, but like I, I, I entrusted this in a friend, right? You know, we discussed it, we went back and forth about it. And as much confidence as I have, I still get nervous about something that's brand new, right? Especially in the fashion space, especially in 2020, you know? It's a, so much out there. It's like, can I pull this off? Will it look right? Will it make sense? It's, it's all about you and who you are, right? And having that confidence, right? And so take that leap of faith with someone that you trust, right? Do the research, um, you, you put in the work to figure out if it makes sense. You know, I talked about at the beginning of this, I went with the color, I went with the size because it made sense for me, mm -hmm. right? It was something that I was familiar with even though it was still brand new territory, right? Um, so you gotta have that uh, decision-making process in a way that makes sense for you, mm -hmm. but definitely do it, you know? Black dude from Cleveland, I'm from the city. There's no cowboy boots, right? There's tennis shoes and flip-flops, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, it was new for me, but like, just give it a shot, right? You do your research, you do your homework, and you do something that makes sense, you know? For me, it's the Tacoma's Dean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it made sense, but it took the legwork to figure it out, and then I just happened to be able to pull it off, you yep. know? Like, and I think most me? people That's will be able to pull it off. You might be surprised when you get them in the mail, and you really don't have anything to lose since they do offer free returns, just make sure that you try the boots on on a carpet so they stay in mint condition and give it a shot. Why not try? Has anybody said anything to you about wearing a cowboy boot yet? Most people at the wedding didn't even notice. It was just you got on a nice shoe, mm -hmm. right? You know, my wife was like, I wouldn't expect you to wear a cowboy boot, but like it looks good, mm -hmm. right? Just because like I never had before. Right now, I get a cowboy boot, I get a boot in general, she's like, all right, it makes sense, because now I've done it, right? Now it just becomes the norm, mm -hmm. right? That's the thing, you know, you have to give it a shot, figure it out, try it, and then it just becomes norm, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but at the wedding, like, nobody even noticed. It was just a man looks good on his wedding day. Yep. You know, that was just it. And it's, it's a comfort level for me, it's a comfort level for everybody else, you know? You just, you just have to go and do it, you know? What's, what's, the, what's the harm? Yep. You know? And plus, you're entering a community when you get Western boots. It's a conversation starter. And somebody might come up to you and say, hey, those are nice boots. Are they Tacovas?" And they say, yeah, they're, they're actually Tacovas." And bam, fast friends. You had somebody else at your wedding who was wearing Tacovas. I did. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yes, <laughs> Steven, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, man, that was a conversation because... Um, like I saw his shoes and like he saw mine and we just and we me and this guy, we've been fast friends since the day I met him, um, years ago. And like now we're not just catching up on life and congratulations and you know, how's the girlfriend, how's the wife? It's like, how's the shoes? How's the Tacovas, man? He's like, Daryl, I love mine, like yours look great. I still pull it off better and I'm like, No, nope, I do it better, you know. So, um, you're right, I forgot all about that, man. Oh man, a month ago seemed so far away, you know, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it's a conversation starter. You're right. It's a community. You know, it's a brand new community uh, for me, right? It, it might be new to me, but it's not new in general, right? And so yeah. it, it's a good place to kind of get to, 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 to be involved in and get with and just a lot more conversations, a lot more fun, just to life in general. Yeah. Know? So it, it's full, full circle. So. Full circle indeed. And if you guys are looking for people to connect with, I do have a Facebook group, Jeremiah's Cowboy Boot Group, uh, where 2,000 folks are 
in there every day sharing their boots and giving each other support. So if you need some support, feel free to join my Facebook boot group. The links are in the description. Thanks so much, Daryl, for course, taking you. this time and talking about the Tacoas Dean with us. Saturday, the sun is shining. You've been my, one of my closest <laughs> friends the last 14 years. All right, don't forget that. 14 now. 14. Right? You know, it's 70 it. degrees <laughs> in November. In November. <laughs> Global warming is a thing. We're going to cut this part out. <laughs> but no, it was, it was great, man. Thank you. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. You know? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and huge thanks to Tacovas as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Links to everything is in the description. We'll see you next time. Peace, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> <laughs>